Hello, I got Sapphire Rose from Treehouse, a 7.5% IPA, and this one uses, hard to read this, Nelson Sylvine, Waimea, Waimea, maybe, and Wakatu hops. Um, and it came out when? January 24th, so that's a little over a week in the can. And their New Zealand focused new IPAs, I think are some of their better new IPAs. So we'll see. They tend to be very pale, look at that, very, very pale. Has some nice big soapy bubbles. And maybe some dense ones in there. There you go. And gotta get the Nelson on the nose. Has that white grape jalapeno sort of thing that I always get from Nelson. Maybe, is there some kind of peach in there? It's all like sort of juicy, but slightly underripe tropical notes. But smells like a really good Nelson IPA, basically. Mm. That Treehouse doesn't do many beers in the mid seven range. Yeah, like none of their single IPAs are over seven. And then I guess some of their double IPAs that are 7.7, .7, they call double IPAs. This one they just call a New Zealand IPA. Whatever that means, seems like a lot of New Zealand IPAs are more clear, but this one obviously isn't. It just uses New Zealand hops. Maybe there are like New Zealand, other New Zealand ingredients. I don't know. I know in some other beers they've used New Zealand malts. And getting some pretty good lacing in there. Mm -hmm. Yep, it smells very nice. got a pretty good soft body. I kind of thought it would be a little bit bigger body, but it's not exactly a double IPA. <coughs> seven and a half is kind of the area where some breweries start calling it a double IPA. The only seven and a half IPA that Trios makes besides this, I think is green. And they call that just an IPA, not a double IPA. That's this one. Um, dries out on your tongue, got a lip smacking sort of Sunny D type thing happening in the finish. Very drinkable, little sweet. I get a, a good amount of sweetness. Their yeast seems to, to be restrained in these New Zealand beers, New Zealand hop beers. Um, maybe it's just because the hops are just so unique and different from the flavors their yeast throws out that it moves in a different char character or different territory territory from like their, their standard ones but you can see how insanely pale that is yeah the bitterness is building up on this one and it's quite clean yeah no throat burn or anything <clears throat> Pretty easy to drink. Is there some sort of phenolic medicinal thing happening? Maybe a little bit. It's not really exactly boozy. Nah, maybe it's a little bit boozy. Whew, yeah, and it it's packed with hops. It gives you a punch. Like this is. Um, I think it's their only thing, only beer they call a regular IPA that is 20, it was 20 bucks a four pack. I was like thinking it was a double IPA and then I saw, oh wait, it's only seven and a half. One of the reasons I grabbed it and it's pretty darn good. I had Red Fern on draft there, which is another New Zealand hop focused beer, but that was a double IPA. So it's like 8%. And I don't know, maybe did I like, maybe I like that more. This one's a little more drinkable. 
Excuse me. But it's really throwing out some unique New Zealandy flavors. What do they say? <clears throat> yeah, white grape, waimea, adds a hint of citrus zest and woody undertones. Maybe it's, yeah, it's a little bit woody. which isn't too bad. And Wakadu Hops completes the experience with a richness of mixed tropical fruits. That's the thing, if this is a New, Ze New Zealand hops, I don't often get like sweet, juicy, tropical notes. People talk about that <coughs> a lot with these, but with these hops, but I don't, I mean, it's not as ripe. I'm getting more like honeydew, melon. Yeah, melon, basically. I'm not getting big juicy pineapple and peach notes um, and mango. Maybe all those things, but under ripe. It is good though. Very well made. And your average liquor store is not gonna have something like this. A pretty full mouthfeel. But do I like that woody note they mentioned? Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's good. I, I, I drank a bunch of IPAs. I went to the brewery and had some, so my palate might be a little shot. Yeah, this one's just seeming a little too minerally to me. It's not full of the ripe... <clears throat> juicy fruits that you might want um, but I guess that's it for a rating a little sweaty in some way so don't always I'm not always against the sweatiness but this one is just not just hitting the super juicy notes, I would say. So I'd probably give it a 4.2.